Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Peter Rabbit, starring James Corden, Rose Byrne, Domhnall Gleeson, Sam Neill, Daisy Ridley, Elizabeth Debicki, and Margot Robbie, directed by Will Gluck. Now, let me just bring up what I remember about the story. That there's a rabbit that goes in a garden, and this novel's, and it's a book by Beatrix Potter, first of all, but it's about a rabbit that goes in a garden and tries to escape from Mr. Gr McGregor's yard. I don't remember the name Mr. McGregor, but I remember Peter Rabbit kinda well, I'll say it best, but we'll see if this movie compares to that cartoon that I watched as a kid. Let's get into it. We get a narrator who interrupts some singing birds with Peter Rabbit, voiced by James Corden, and joins up with his brother Benjamin and sisters Flopsy, voiced by Margot Robbie, Mopsy, voiced by Elizabeth Debicki, and Cottontail, voiced by Daisy Ridley, who's not going to be in the sequel. Maybe Star Wars had something to do with it? I'm not 100% sure. Go into Mr. McGregor's garden and takes the vegetables as an old Mr. McGregor, played by Sam Neill. Jurassic Park Sam Neill, by the way, tries to capture Peter and turn him into a pie w until B, played by Rose Byrne, saves their lives, and they have a great life with her as she paints a children's... Well, well, she does paintings of how Peter is a brave rabbit ever since his mother died. Or should I say his parents, what am I talking about? Died some time ago. I'm thinking, is this a movie... Is this movie a biography? Because Rose Byrne's character is named after the author, Beatrix Potter, and the CGI rabbits look like a cartoon, but maybe that's something for the movie. Excuse me. Peter goes back to the garden to retrieve his jacket and almost gets turned into a pie until old Mr. McGregor has a heart attack and dies. And Peter with his family and the rest of the animals celebrate the death of old Mr. McGregor and again, the CGI looks very cartoony. But maybe it'll improve in the sequel? I'm not sure based on the trailer. Mr. Thomas McGregor, played by Domhnall Gleeson, gets the news about his great uncle while he wants to get a promotion at store general manager at, let me see if I got this right, Harrods Toy Store. But it goes to Bannerman and gets his and gets fired from there because after beating some plushed animals. And by animals, I'm talking about, like, plush animals. Being upset about promo the promotion as he gets to his great-grandfather's place in the country, which I get the impression is in England. This whole movie, I think, is set in England, now that I think about it. As Thomas has an idea to sell his great-uncle's place to open his own toy shop, and the character of Thomas McGregor is very unlikable as the actor has done better work as it's not the Star Wars sequels, which I already brought up. He enters the house and sees it's a mess based on the animal party as Thomas spots a pig and kicks out all of the animals in the house, which feels comical in a terrible way. Thomas cleans up the house and Beatrix, I'm going to call the Roseburn character throughout this because and the next movie introduces herself to Thomas neighborly as she, and she gives him a gift of binoculars and she says if he could leave the gate open he but he builds the gate higher and Peter comes off like a jerk in this scene as he now hates Thomas and tells Benjamin to get in the garden with Peter as they get chased by Thomas, and I'm embarrassed for Domhnall Gleeson, as he deserves better than this. Thomas goes in a truck with Benjamin as he's captured by Thomas, and Peter and the other rabbits get him out by breaking the truck, and the and the pops in the front trunk, I'll say, pops the front open, as Thomas almost throws the bag until he realizes the bag is light and sees the binoculars and drops it in the water by accident might I say and goes in the water after he if after it as he dives into town he drives into town and gets trapped from a couple of clerks at the store and as he leaves he finds Beatrix as he gives her a lift home 
with the rabbits getting back on the outside tr back of the trunk trunk excuse me i meant to say and as they arrive back home thomas says he's allergic to blackberries and calls rabbits rodents which is something i'm i don't necessarily believe in and as beatrix and thomas happen to be in love slowly with each other which is cute, admittedly, but the fact that it's, he's allergic to blackberries and Peter later on will put some in his mouth will be pretty offensive. I'll, but And I'll tell you why when I get there. It starts to rain while Beatrix and Thomas have a picnic as Peter and the other rabbits are outside and Peter comes inside and beats up on Thomas as Peter messes up Beatrix's painting. And she throws them out, and this is mediocre con a mediocre concept because it, even though it is a book of Peter versus Thomas and Donald Gleason again deserves better than this movie. To be honest with everyone, Thomas puts an electric fence on the gate as Mrs. Tiggy Wiggle, I think I got the name right, I'm not sure, gets electrocuted by eating some peanut butter on the electric fence. As Peter turns off the zapping of the electric fence as they put on, on Thomas's doorknob and electrocutes him, which looks very fake as he's knocked out for the day, but wakes up at night and puts dynamite in the rabbit's hole as Beatrix comes outside. And this is where Peter becomes really unlikable is as well when he makes up his plan to put Blackberry in Thomas. And the offensive thing about that is it's very insensitive to stop Thomas and it's getting out of control as he throws dynamite in at his garden I mean it I mean it's harmless for kids but the adults who's allergic to blackberries or maybe kids I don't know that are in real life would probably get offended by this because come on why do blackberry I mean not why do blackberries they're good for you and the fact that he's allergic to them and putting them in his mouth that's just wrong Beatrix finds out Thomas uses explosives to kill the rabbits, and Peter blows up more, blows more up, and blows up a tree and breaks Beatrix's art room. And Peter starts to feel bad about it, and Thomas starts to sell the place. And the explosive scenes is not making me feel bad for the characters, as Peter and Thomas comes off very unlikable to begin with. As Beatrix tells Peter that she's going on the train back to London, as Bannerman left the toy shop. He worked as as his, his boss hires him back as a general manager at the toy shop. As Peter confesses, he was wrong about Beatrix and Thomas as a couple. and gets Thomas and Benjamin reluctantly on a train. And they arrive in London and get a host from a mouse named Charlie. As they go into the store and try to talk to Thomas and convinces him to come back. And he leaves the building as he flies to the location and rides a motorcycle to the house as they arrive Beatrix gets in a car as the girl rabbits try to get her to stay and Thomas and Beatrix and almost leaves until Peter confesses he was the one who blew up the rabbit home and the McGregor home is sold and the couple who bought the house and as Peter gets the other animals to scare off the couple and what really scares them away is the pig and other animals in the house as they are made a mess and are singing and the singing birds sing the credit song with Peter and Beatrix sell the first book she ever wrote about Peter Rabbit and the climax was cliche as it was fine at best. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 5.5 out of 10. Peter and Thomas are unlikable characters, but the other ones are fine at best. As the movie is mediocre, and I felt so bad for Domhnall Gleeson because he's a great actor, the CGI was rather cartoony as the shock effects scenes are fake looking. Hopefully it'll prove that by the next movie, I'm not sure. The story was predictable. If you've ever read the book as a kid, like I did when I was a very young boy, but by all means, it's not a great movie, but hopefully it'll improve and not offend me as much as the scene with the blackberries did. But we'll see the next time. So I will be back next time with Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway. 
And until next time, so good to see ya.